Maybe so, she um, has a cavity in I put the formula together. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to work because, you know, you hear that you natural remedies work, but, you know, you don't really believe it because you think whatever you're going to buy in the store is what's really going to work. Right. But the thing that's in the store on the shelf, really most of that stuff is just water and, and, and fillers and thickeners and, and fragrances and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, the stuff that you really don't need in your hair, you know, just the stuff they put to make you buy the bottle. You know, so when I realized that, and I did a couple of trips to some major factories, some of the bigger companies out there, and when I realized what they're doing, I said to myself, this gives me an opportunity to make a product that actually works, that actually got in there what you want me and not just what, you know, you think is in there, mm -hmm. you know? And then, um, that's what I did. And I made the product, and it actually worked, and, um, you know, I made it just for my people, you know, just for people I cut, people that came to my store. Right. And, and then also one thing um, that I will say that a lot of times, you got a lot of guys that say they can't get waves. Mm -hmm. With that pipe right there, if you don't get waves, I don't know what's going on with you. I've, I've, I've taken people that have been saying for years they can't get waves. You tell them use it for two weeks and you start seeing the waves coming in about two weeks. Mm -hmm. All the new growth comes out way. Right so the, the product is excellent, man. It does what it's supposed to do. And the good thing about it is, it's not just for men, you know, women use it too. Right. As a matter of fact, I have just as many hairstyles to use the product as any as All right. So, you know, and then the second product was, you already know, you know, as black men, we get shaving and rotation all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, it's in our best interest to have something to stop that without, you know, burning your skin, without alcohol, acid, this and that, and you know, shaving lotions. Right. You know, you don't want all that stuff on your skin if you don't have to have it. So that's what I did was I made something that, you know, tea tree, shea butter based, mm -hmm. that, you know, kills germs, smells great, and some, has aromatherapeutic benefits because the, um, the aromatherapy oils in there, they wake you up, they, you know, they, they hype you, you're, you're, you're feeling the sensitivity. So let's, um, let's get into uh, your upcoming events. I know you got something big going down at the uh, Browner Brothers in Atlanta. Let's talk about that. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Um, Ronald Brothers, and, you know, yeah, later like this month, February 20th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. Yeah, we're having a party at Justin's Puffy's Restaurant. And then we're also having a barber's dinner the next day. So the next day is going to be a barber's dinner where we're going to have barbers from all around the country come, come together, sit down, eat, talk, and kind of just kick it about the industry and, and, and learn ways to network and, and, you know, make the industry better. And this is when? This is the um, Sunday, the 20, 21st of, of February. 2010 and then the Monday night we're having a going out party you know like everybody's going home that next day so we're just gonna have that going out party the next night so you know the, um, the dinner will be hosted by me G Wiz and Major League Barbers and um, you know we're just gonna go in there and just you know talk to the barbers from around the country man, and see if we can build some type of alliance some kind of you know leadership kind of thing going. because you know we go to these shows and they, they do things for barbers, but they really don't highlight the barbers. It's really about the hairstyles. So, you know, we need to have something for us. But, you know, we're going to go that far. We're going to go all the way to Atlanta. We're going to have a little something extra that we can do together so that, you know, we can feel like, you know, it's a good reason to come back again and again and again. Because Barnum Brothers is definitely, like, you know, the show to go to. So, you know, we want to try to do whatever we can to keep it going because we don't ever want to see that go down. So let's talk, let's talk about the class that you do. You, you, you was telling me about a class that you have coming yeah, up. Yeah, I got a class coming up. Um, in Fairville, North Carolina, mm -hmm. on March 15th, and then the following month in Charlotte, North Carolina, same day, and then the following month after that in um, Greensburg, North Carolina. So we're doing three stops in the next three months in North Carolina. We teach a class of about 150 students in a class. Um, you know, we're going to be going over career building skills, promotional, self-promotional skills, um, you know, barbering techniques, you know, um, just, just general, the whole gamut, you know, just, just trying to make people who are barbers that want to do more but they don't know what to do next, you know, try to help them and give them a, a motivation, you know, so, so that's why I'm doing the class and I'm, you know, also doing it promoting my, my product line and, you know, you know, that's what that's about. So, you know, I, I normally teach at Browner Brothers, you know, I taught at Premier, I taught at all the shows. You know, but right now, this show, I'm really on a promotional mission. I'm really out there to get the word out about the product. Right, you know? right. Taking it to the next level. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're doing the parties. That's why we're doing everything so that everybody can be aware of what we're trying to do. Right, right. What would you recommend, what type of recommendations, or what would you tell uh, as far as any barber right now in the game that would like to elevate their game, and what would you tell people that are not, that is not a barber right now, but are looking to get into the barbering game? Well, um, if you don't like cutting hair, if you're not the type of person that likes um, 
like taking something that's nothing and making something out of it, like creating something from scratch. If that's not your thing, then you really shouldn't be a barber. But that's what being a barber is. And if you if you don't like if you don't like you know if you don't get thrilled from the outcome, then it's just not your field. You know, like you have to look forward to a good haircut. And then when you see a good haircut, you gotta be excited yourself. Like, wow, look at that! I just did that. Like, right. you know, right. that, that's gotta motivate you. Right. If you do. Otherwise, if you're just thinking about money, you're not gonna make money. I right. promise you that. Right. You know, but people gotta feel like you love what you do in order to keep supporting. Also, if you're not a people person, you probably want to be a boss. Right. Right. You know, if you, if you don't like being to yourself, you don't like people asking questions, or, you know, you don't like interacting with people you're not familiar with, then you know, you probably don't want to be a barber than anything. Right. So, 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 so how how can people get in contact with you? Oh, they can go to my website, mm -hmm. www.exoticsproducts.com. Right. Go to my website, they can leave their name on my email list. And one, two, three. Man, I really hope y'all enjoyed this interview today with Curtis Smith. Curtis, I thank you. You got it, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to you know working with you and speaking with you more. Mm -hmm. And uh, y'all stay tuned because it's more on Barber World TV. Holla at my man Kamal Blake, Antique Barber. The line is crazy. It, it, it's here. Go to antiquebarber.com. Pick up your gear. I got on the shirt right now. I got on the... I got on this medium right now. It's a little tight. <laughs> you got nipple shards. Right? <laughs> you know, that's, that's why I got the cape on, get a cut. I said, we got to do something different on this one. <laughs> but it's all good, though. So this is your main man, Uber Guy, signing off for Barber World TV. And we coming at you soon. Peace to Curtis Smith. Peace to all the barbers out there. Much love. Be sharp. All right.